In this video, we're going to talk about positive indices, negative indices, simple slicing in Python, to special cases of a slicing, I mean, to nodes. And also, we're going to talk about the steps in a slicing in Python programming language. So please stay tuned. So first of all, let's talk about positive indices in Python. The first note is that Python starts counting at zero. For example, this is the element at index zero. So remember that Python starts counting at zero, not one. So this is the zeroth element. So this is the element at index zero. This is the element at index one, the element at index two, and so on. So, for example, if I print x sub zero, I mean the zeroth element of x, and if I run the code, you can see it gives us p. And if I print x sub one, I mean the element at index one, and if I run the code, you can see it is y. So I think you got the idea. So now let's talk about negative indices in Python. As I've told you, this is the element at index zero. So this is index zero. So the question is, what is the meaning of negative indices? Because we don't have anything before this first character. So what is the meaning of negative indices? Actually, when we are talking about negative indices, because we don't have anything before this first character, we start from the end. So this is the element at index minus one. So if I print x sub minus one, and if I run the code, you can see it is g. So this is the element at index minus one. This is the element at index minus two. This is the element at index minus three, and so on. So for example, if I print x sub minus two, and if I run the code, you can see it is n. So now let's talk about slicing in Python. For example, suppose that from this string, we want to only access these characters. I mean, we want to access this slice of this string. So as I've told you, this is the element at index zero. This is the element at index one. This is the element at index two. And this is the element at index three. So as you can see, we want the elements from the zeroth element all the way up to index three. So maybe you say, okay, there is no problem. We can type something like this, zero all the way up to, this column means all the way up to. So actually we are saying that we want all the elements from the index zero all the way up to, and maybe you say, okay, now we should type three, but actually it is not correct. Why? Because in Python, this second thing is exclusive, not inclusive. It is not going to include this three. So if you want to include three, which in this case we want to do so. So if you want to include this, you should, if you want to include three, we should type four. Why? Because we know that in Python, this second thing is not inclusive. It is not going to include this for itself. So if we want the zeroth element all the way up to index three, we should type four because this second thing itself is not inclusive. So here is another example, which is basically the quiz time. So for example, suppose that we want to access these values. So please pause the video and think about it, that what should we write here? So in this example, this is index zero, index one, two, three. So the starting point is three all the way up to. So here, this is index three index four, five, six, and remember that this space is also a character. So this is index six, index seven, eight, nine, and 10. So we want three all the way up to 10, but actually here we should simply type three all the way up to 11. Why? Because this second thing is not inclusive. If we want three all the way up to 10, we should write three all the way up to 11. So now if I run a code, you can see we get the same result as we desired. But now let's talk about two important notes. Note number one, suppose that we want to access these values. I mean, the values at index one, because this is index zero, this is index one. So we want to access the elements at index one all the way up to the end. So one way is to simply type something like this, one all the way up to, and then we should count, for example, this is index one, two, three, and so on. And this is index 17. So if you count, you can see that this is index 17. So one way is to simply type one 
So 1 all the way up to 18. Remember that this is inclusive. That's why we are typing 18 and not 17. So one way is to simply type something like this. And if I run a code, you can see we get the desired result. But the other way, which is the simpler one, is to simply type something like this one all the way up to the end of the string that's it if you don't type anything here it means that all the way up to the end of the string and if i run a code you can see we get the same result now let's talk about the other note suppose that we want to access these values so one way is to simply say okay this is index 0 1 2 3 so we want the elements at index 0 all the way up to 3 so here we should simply type 0 all the way up to 4 not 3 and if I run a code you can see we get the same result as we desired but the other way is to simply type something like this we can delete this because we want all the stuff from the beginning of the string all the way up to 4 so if you don't put anything here if you don't type anything here it means from the beginning of the string and if I run the code you can see see we get the same result so here is another example so what is the meaning of this for example if we type something like this only colon it means that we want all the stuff from the beginning all the way up to the end of the string so if i run a code you can see we're actually printing all the stuff in the string but now let's talk about steps in slicing for example here if i put another colon so it means that all the stuff from the beginning all the way up to the end with a step of so this second column means with a step of so with a step of for example one so by default this step is one so it means that from the beginning all the way up to the end and the step should be one but if i pass for example two so it means that we want all the stuff from the beginning all the way up to the end with a step of two so if i run a code you can see we have p then the t and then o and so on so this is step two but here is another interesting example which is very common and you see it a lot if if i pass minus one it means that from the beginning all the way up to the end with a step of minus one when i say with a step of minus one it means that you should start from the end all the way up to the beginning actually we are reversing the string and if i run the code you can see yes we have reversed the string so so far we have discussed a lot of things about slicing indexing and all of these things in python but the example was a string but remember that later on in this playlist we are going to learn about some other stuff such as lists tuples and some other things and remember that all of these things that we mentioned in this video are applicable to those other stuff which we are going to teach you in the other videos of this playlist this was one of the videos of a step-by-step -step tutorial playlist of python you can find a link to that playlist in the description below and also we have other playlists for other topics which you can find them on the channel page